Cancer is in underreported and high concern for firefighters. It's according to a new report and data from the CDC, which shows firefighters have a 9% greater chance of a risk of getting cancer than the general public. Channel 3's Melissa Cooney joins us live in Burlington to break down those findings and requests from first responders. Melissa. Good morning, Alyssa and John. A new law made last year expands the type of cancer considered for workers' compensation for firefighters, among other things. Even with that law, though, it's clear that there's still some unanswered questions and gaps in prevention work when it comes to cancer in firefighters. Years of exposure to what's now known to be cancer-causing chemicals and firefighting foam and other tools used by firefighters. It's kind of that silent uh, disease that sneaks up on you after years of exposure. Um, and for that reason, it, it's sometimes not not on everyone's mind. Michael Scaza with Vermont's Division of Fire Safety says Vermont doesn't have enough data on cancer cases for firefighters. The largest workers' comp coverage for fire has seen nine cancer presumption claims since 2008, emphasizing cases are underreported. We also asked the question of how many firefighter cancer cases are you just anecdotally aware of within your departments? And we identified um, over, we had um, 35% of fire departments responded to the survey, and in that 35%, we identified over 70 known cancer cases that presumably could have been service-related. To combat the lack of awareness, a report to the legislature recommends education for departments and for health care to ensure earlier testing. It's estimated to cost $4.5 million a year to screen every firefighter, but another idea will be to screen new firefighters upon their arrival, costing $145,000 annually. Another gap in prevention work is outdated equipment, some of which has the cancer-causing chemicals in it, but remains thousands of dollars a set to replace. We know that we have a lot of um, non-compliant of personal protective equipment in use because, quite honestly, some fire departments don't have any other choice. The working group who put together the report recommends the state reduce the cost of PPE using the state of Massachusetts grant program as a model. I think we want to know the price tag um, for making sure we take care of our volunteer firefighters. It, pref creating career firefighting departments around the state is certainly more expensive and might create some duplication. And short of that, we have to put some skin in the game to make sure that our volunteer firefighters still have access to precautionary measures. Senator Keisha Rahm Hinsdale chairs one of the committees receiving the report. She says they'll be getting to workers' comp items soon and notes affordable blood panels could be an option for cancer indication in some cases too. Another element of the new law and the continuing conversation, how women and men have different cancers and need awareness for that screening process. For a lot of women, they might not have been screening the same way looking for cancers associated with firefighting because no one had pointed that out to them. You know, so we just have a lot of work to do to be paying attention to the experience of female firefighters. And Scaza says it's important for firefighters to make sure their doctors know that they're firefighters so they can get the correct cancer screenings that are necessary for the profession. Live in Burlington, Melissa Cooney, Channel 3 This Morning.